we have another claim here from Torre. I believe I'm saying his name correctly. We've known him from a lot of his famous interviews. He interviewed R. Kelly, which is the one that comes to my mind off the rip when he asked Kelly, yo, they're allegedly saying that you like teenage girls in the streets. And this nigga Kelly replied back. When we talk about teenage, how old are we speaking? Like, nah, that's, cr that's the worst response, brother. Do you like teenage girls? When you say teenage, how are we talking? They're like, no, hold on. Did you really practice on what's the worst thing you could possibly say if you ever asked that question? Because that doesn't even make sense. It sounds so bad that you practice it. Like, it don't even sound like something just came off the mind. Like, now you thought about that before and thought you was cooking with that one. You was not. And if you were cooking, that's canola oil. We do not need none of that. But he shares a personal story with us here about a time that he had one of his family members get an internship for Diddy. And it didn't end the way you thought. And it took him a long, long time to figure out exactly what happened. But when he did find out, it all made sense. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. We're on that road to 10,000 subscribers let me know down below i usually don't believe all tv personalities when they're speaking about things like this because they all want a hot topic but he is someone that is respected in the industry he is someone that i don't think would throw himself out there if it is a lie again this is all alleged he's not being charged with nothing so i cannot say this is factual but he is someone that i personally personally do not see lying about something like this let me know down below also lying about a family member because saying a family member had an internship with diddy i'm sure not many family members had an internship with diddy so everybody in the family like oh yeah yeah little cousin so, yeah, I remember he was working with Diddy. Then you keep hearing the story like, oh, shit. That's why he stopped working with Diddy. Okay, now it makes sense. Let him, let's him. let let him further explain. And we'll come back and do commentary. Subscribe to the channel. We're on that road to 10,000 subscribers. I was pers I know this man well enough to call him and say, hey, I need a favor. Yeah. And this might have been 10, 12 years ago that I called him and say, hey, I have a family member who I want you to hire them as an intern. Yeah. And uh, I have never talked about this publicly. And I and he said yes. And they were flying around one of the interns, Atlanta, Miami, whatever, on the jet in the house, whatever. And then the internship stopped abruptly, like three or four months into it. Yeah. And I spoke to my family member like, well, what happened? And they wouldn't say. Yeah. And I'm like, what? what do you, why did it end? It wouldn't yeah. say. And years later, they finally came out and this is a male yeah. and said that. Puff had said, come home, stay the night with me, or the internship is over. And they said, absolutely not. He said, absolutely not. And the internship ended. Uh, but from there, I was like, oh, like, this is this is how it goes. Okay. Yeah. Why? Because if he was my deal, I'm like, please, brother, come on, man. You know how to take that, take that mansion. You got to get me in there somehow. You know I do the marketing. You guys know I'm good with business. Please, please, get me an internship. That's all I need, bro. I've interned. And I interned at companies not as cool as the Diddy Enterprise, I thought. That's a wild, 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 wild thing to receive during your internship. Like, hold on, what you mean come over and spend the night? Like, you about to have more drones from the booby trap come through? Nah, nah, it's just gonna be me and you. Oh, well, we about to match up, have a session? Nah, I don't smoke. Oh, bring the bot De Leon! De Leon! But there ain't gonna be no shorties involved. Like, nah, hold on, what you mean? Hold on, we gonna be in that big-ass mansion. You got all these shorties on call, and it's just gonna be me and you. Nah, I'm not going either, brother. Brother, I'm not going either. I gotta ask before. For why you need me to stay tonight? I would think it's some job related stuff like, oh, it's an intern thing. What you need me to do a play overnight or something? Because I'll work whatever I would need to be worked. They know that about me, any job that I've ever done. Until the job is done, I'm not leaving. But in this situation, that mentality probably would have backfired. <sighs> I feel bad for that kid, bro. You ruined hip hop for me. I just started listening to country music. Willie Nelson and the boys. I don't never want to listen to another 808 in my life again. In my life again. Being someone that, like myself that does a lot of business, went to college, cum laude and graduating class. I thought that those tools would help me get into the industry. I thought those tools would at least, if I can't be a personality, would at least help me get behind the scenes job. Something that I can get my fingers in there. Pause once again. With Hollywood. But after seeing all this stuff, it's like, is this a place you even really want to be at? Flying around with Diddy doing all this couldn't have Diddy diddled him when they were flying like why he gonna have to ask you to spend the night I'm sure there's a place you probably couldn't make it back home one of those nights you were flying with why did he diddle you that day so many questions with this so many questions with this but let's just say let's pray the best for every party involved let's hope the truth comes out but he's someone that said he was close to Diddy so close that he can make calls and ask for favors to get a family member hired as an intern why would he come out now and speak against someone that's helped a family member out of his to get a position that they weren't in previously that they want if stuff went perfect subscribe to the channel let me know down below share your thoughts do you believe these things against Sean Diddy Combs or do you not believe this against Puff Daddy? I can't even keep up with his name. Brother Love, Love Brother, I can't even keep up with all of them. Let me know down below your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel. I am curious. I don't even like using that word in a moment like this. Let's think of another one. I would love to know more about what is going on. We probably won't hear a lot. We probably won't know more for the next couple months or unless this ever goes to trial. If it ever does, does not forget this has not even been picked up criminally. So all allegations.
against Sean Cone and his kids and his family and everyone else named the Young Miami. Those are all allegations. But it's looking scary when more and more reputable people start speaking. A lot are not speaking. And I think it's because of those hidden cameras we've been hearing and the blackmail that we've been hearing that he had a hold of. Always heard this when it came to conspiracy theory videos, Illuminati videos, the elite videos, all that, that they do weird stuff to you so they can have blackmail. I believed it, but I didn't. Now seeing this, I'm like, damn, bro, is there really any conspiracies? Or is our life the conspiracy and the conspiracies are really the truth? That's how it's starting to look, though, more and more time goes. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below. Please share your thoughts.